cultural artifacts. So the people, the listeners who visit uh, the performances or the installation, they not only they get hear sounds from India, but also they understand the special dynamics that the, the, from the places I come from, or the sounds are uh, originated from. longer in Denmark, more I exchange my ideas with fellow artists or I work in collaboration with sound, Danish sound artists. More this cultural mixing will be developed into a fruitful ways. So it will not remain instantaneous, but it will, it will be sustainable. I, I do strongly feel that these kind of exchanges are extremely necessary. Not only to give an idea of the city of Bangalore, but the methodology itself, the, kind, the way I developed the work, uh, that methodology can add uh, or enrich the way sound artists working with urban theme. Not only about knowing the city, Indian city through sound, but also an exchange between methodologies, approaches and other kinds of um, sound art practice that uh, I not only I give to the sound artist based in Denmark but also I learn from sound artists who are extended, are in exchange with me. Mm -hmm. Danish sound art is very good sounding, it's a very good mix, it's a very good design of the sound uh, different dynamics of the sound. So it comes from Danish design, uh, I think. I'm not very sure. But they sound very good. They sound very, in Danish uh, word, it's called hygge. So they sound very comfortable. So even noise music, so, so the noise music genre, that also sounds very, very sweet. The, so sweetness and uh, good design and good texture is what define Danish sound art. On the other hand, what I bring into this territory is noise, is a lot of wider dynamics, a lot of craziness. So this is a different from the Danish artist sound, sound works. Mm -hmm. of the methodology of listening to be more contemplative. That is my main message. All my work, most of my works, I think, are dedicated to develop that idea, contemplative listening. And another idea, concept I'm developing, which is called nomadic listening, uh, listening which is deterritorialized. Deterritorialized means listening out of place. Composing landscape, the new piece I'm developing, I'm still in the process. So it's actually um, talking about a, a place, a place which was a picturesque landscape for many thousands of years, and then um, Aboriginal people used to live there. But then, in around 1950s, uh, major industry industries started to develop itself there. And that completely changed the picturesque landscape into an industrial belt. So in my piece I tried to portray that transition from being a very picturesque landscape to an industrial busy zone. So nature and, and industry, this is in conversation with each other. So when you don't push yourself to be collecting sound or recording sound or listening, when you relax, it may be more than relaxing, maybe go into a contemplative mood, then you can hear more. Like for example, you are, we are discussing, if we concentrate on discussion and push on the discussion itself, 
we may be missing a lot of sounds around, but if we relax and go further into contemplative mode, we can hear the different layers. <laughs> 